Hey YouTube. Um, so I'm working on the intro, so <laughs> work with me here. <laughs> um, today I am doing um this look with a glossy lid. I have been dying to try this. I keep seeing this on models, um, a lot of Instagram pages, a lot of makeup artists. So I was dying to try this look. And so it was really simple. Like I didn't use a lot of product. I didn't use um, um, a lot of eyeshadow. It was really just a one eyeshadow look. So it was super, super easy and I love it. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all how I completed this look. And if you like it, like it, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, so here what I'm doing is I'm taking just a makeup wipe and I'm just removing any oils on my face. Also, I had some makeup on earlier in the day. So I'm just trying to um, wipe that off so I can have a clean canvas to work on. So this part I really don't need to explain, guys. I just simply um, cleaned up my brows and then I went ahead and just filled in the sparse areas before this video I actually went in and arched my brows with a straight blade and I actually took off the end of my brows to kind of make them like straighter like a spock brow and I love it so much better so I'm just going in and I'm filling in areas here okay so now I am using the color toffee and I'm just taking this brush that I got from e.l.f. and I'm just going under my eyes and I'm just cleaning up any imperfections, trying to make my brow as clean as possible. Okay, so I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal Orange Corrector, and I'm just filling in the dark spots. I always find that my dark spots are right under my eyes, right around my mouth, and um, right, you know, next to my nose. So I just use the color corrector to go ahead and correct all of those areas. Okay, so y'all, here I'm using NYX Pore Filler, and I have to be honest, this is like literally my first time using it, even though I've had it for forever, but I've really been searching for things to really fill in my pores, and actually after using, the, using this, it seems to have done the trick, and I'm so upset that after having it for at least a year, I never actually used it, but I ended up really liking it here. Okay, y'all, time to put my baby on. That is my infallible foundation. This is like a holy girl for me. I so love this foundation. It gives me the coverage I want. You don't have to use so much of it. I totally recommend this foundation. Now, when I first put it on, it always gives me like this orangey tone. But once it like sets in and oxidizes into my skin, I swear I love this foundation so much. Ever since I brought this, I don't think I've actually used another foundation this is this is it for me and i get it at like walmart so i don't have to spend a lot of money this is a really good foundation okay guys so what i'm doing here is i'm putting on my nars concealer i'm gonna put the color that i use in the description because i forgot now this is the crazy shit i do so i was supposed to actually put the nars on my face before i put on my foundation but this is like one of my blonde moments i always forget shit and after the fact i just was like whatever we'll just go ahead and blend it in anyway so i after this i put on at least two more coats of the nars concealer on my eyelid because i just felt like um what i had was still translucent so you'll see in the next clip so you all you guys already know this step i'm just putting on sasha buttercup on my lid just to set the you know tone for my makeup so that when i put on my eyeshadow it'll be way easy to blend So remember what I said, this is going to be a, a easy look. I just used my masquerade palette from Juvia's Place and I used Cairo, Ada, and Zulu. And I just put that on my lid and I just blended it in until I felt like it was where it needed to be. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking NARS in the color Vanilla and I'm just putting it right there on my brow bone.
and I'm blending it in so that you know it'll look very seamless and going back to the NARS concealer I used before um, to set my eyes I used the color caramel just in case you all wanted to know okay so here I'm putting on my NYX eyeliner it's supposed to be a matte eyeliner and this is slowly becoming one of my favorite things I used to hate putting on eyeliner because I was so bad at it but I just take my time and if I have any imperfections I just clean it out with concealer but I, I really love putting on eyeliner and at first it just wasn't my thing because my eyes are already small and I feel like it makes them look smaller but you know it's growing on me and I think I do a you know pretty good job you let me know okay so to the fun part so what I'm doing is I'm taking any lip gloss that I have now please make sure that it's really tacky it's not like really liquidy and I put it on my eyelid right here now I made sure not to get it on my eyeliner because I literally just want it on my lid and then what I'm doing is I'm taking one of my flat brushes from wet and wild and I'm just pulling it out so I'm not even using a lot of product I'm um, so that the the look doesn't get messy but what I'm doing is I'm using a little bit of product that I have on here and I'm just spreading it out okay so back to what i was saying about the eyeliner what i'm gonna do here is just basically clean up any imperfections and i'm just taking an old elf flat brush that i have and i'm just cleaning up any imperfections that i may have made so that my eyeliner can look real sharp and clean Okay guys, so I'm really just trying to decide, you know, which direction I want the videos to go in and whether or not I still want to do this type of routine because really it's not needed. Everybody basically knows this and, you know, they have their own little ways and techniques of doing it. But I'm just using um, LA Garrow Pro Conceal and Fawn and I'm just um, highlighting, you know, certain areas before I go ahead and I buff it out with one of my beauty blenders. And this time, guys, I did it way neater than my first video. So I so hope you all appreciate this. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I actually, because I did say that I was blending it out with a beauty blender, but this is actually a real technique sponge, and I'm actually growing to like this better than the beauty blender, and I just got this from Walmart, but I feel like it, it gives me a better, you know, coverage when I'm doing this with the um, real technique sponge as opposed to the beauty blender. So, you know, I don't know what's growing on me. I really like it a lot, but I'm just blending out the um, highlight, and I actually changed it up, and I decided to do this first before I even and put on my contour So now that my highlight is on, what I'm doing is I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color um, Earth and I'm using my Real Techniques brush and I'm just taking it and lining it up on my nose, trying to, you know, get my nose as skinny and cute as possible. Um, and I think that I like this technique way better than putting the contour and the highlight on at the same time and just blending it in. I like this step-by-step -step process. It helps me really get the look as clean as sh and as sharp as I would like it to be. Um, I feel like sometimes when I put the highlight and the contour on at the same time, um, it just, the look doesn't look solid to me. It is, so, you know, I think I'm going to continue to do this and I actually take it up into my shadow and I like that a lot. And hopefully you do too. Again, you guys, what are we using? Topaz from Ben Nye. I love it. And I'm just 
using my real techniques fluffy brush i think it's actually a small kabuki brush i'm using and i'm just blending in the highlight and the contour trying to make sure everything is cohesive and everything looks neat and i'm taking my time blending 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 this is the best part of the look because you know i want everything just to look nice and so this is new for me normally i don't do the little cut right there because i feel like i have a strong jawbone anyway but i decided to go ahead and do it for this look and um you know i think i actually like the outcome it's something that i might still continue to try here and there i just already feel like i have str a strong face in a way and so i don't want to make it look stronger but it was cool you know trying to experiment and try new things for the sake of the videos with my dumb blonde moments because that's definitely Sasha Buttercup when I meant to use Topaz but whatever you get the idea and it took me forever and a day to blend that shit out because it was just too light for me um but I, I have to learn to remember what products I'm using when I'm actually doing my face but it ended up coming out nice but it just took me forever to actually blend okay so one of the things that i love to do is put shadow under my um bottom lid it's like my favorite thing to do i don't even remember where i got it from but now i almost do no look without doing this so my husband he ended up turning on the game which is one of my favorite rappers so you know i had to turn that for a second but <laughs> but yes now i'm putting on my highlight and my highlight is actually from makeup forever it was a pro duo and i can't remember what color it is but oh my god it this shit is a beast as you can see and i just put it in all of the cute little places that i wanted to highlight and once i did this i don't even think i could stop like i just kept highlighting and highlighting and it wasn't even nothing else left for me to highlight but yes this is my favorite i even prefer this over becca and i love becca Please get into this highlight on that brow bone. God, that shit is the best. Okay, guys, so we're nearing the end of the video. I hope you all like it. And yes, comment, subscribe. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If there is anything any criticism that you want to give me i'm so open to it and i hope you guys liked it and i hope you watch the next video bye